So in this video I'll show you how to call a subroutine within the VBA code for your UDF function. Okay so I'm just using a very simple example I've got a value for x, a value for y and then my test UDF. So we've just got equals test UDF open brackets x value comma y value close brackets and to see what's happening let's go to visual basic open module one so we've got the usual uh, bits of code here so we've got a function test udf brackets uh, the x value i want to read in the y value i've then declared a variable z and then i call a subroutine that i've called multiply and then i put the variables in so i've got x comma y comma z and what this does is it sends these variables down to this subroutine and i've listed them again in the same order and now this subroutine has any values here from that have been sent from the main function and then it does a calculation so z equals x times y it then feeds those values back so this function has changed the value of z there wasn't a value of z to start with but it's it's assigned a value to that now and that gets fed back into the main function so i've now got test udf equals z so it just reads out the value for me if this subroutine had changed the value of x or y then that would also go back into the program and those values could be then used in some further calculations we then end the function and that will then uh, just report the value of x times y so again it's a very trivial example but it's just to illustrate how to call the subroutine so if we go back to the worksheet we can see we're reading in x and y it's, they're getting multiplied and then reported into the cell b7 another example is shown here so i've created uh, something called sub udf so sub for, short for subroutine and i just want to show you how this one works as well so in Visual Basic Module 2, I've got some other code here. And again, it's calling a subroutine to do x divided by y. And I've got some for loops. And I'm just making this available to sort of show you how this works and how you can sort of basically assign a value to your x value from a range of values, uh, assign a value to a y value for a range of values, and then call your subroutine. Read out the value for z into your array for the results and then loop through to calculate all of these and again it's a very trivial example of x divided by y but this can be very useful if you've got a more complicated subroutine and subroutines are great for being able to repeat little bits of code without having to write them every time in your program okay so uh, just close that and just show you quickly so we've got equals sub udf x values comma y values and then it just read those reads all those values out for us okay so that video has just shown you some basics of calling the subroutine in the vba code for your udf i hope you found that useful please remember to like comment and subscribe and thanks very much for watching